Director of Institute of Archaeology and Ethnology Polish Academy of Science, with Dr. Dagmara Vera, Dr. Iwona Sobkowiak Tabaka, and Katarzyna Kerneder Gubała, proudly presents lecture from conference Flint in Time and Space, Time and Space in Flint. Thank you very much. Uh, the first con concept of my presentation was to focus on uh, the uh, small area around the Bircha, on the several outroports of, of Bircha. Uh, it's uh, uh, located near Kotów, uh, uh, small village near, near Bircha. But uh, the very last uh, prospection, this year prospection, which I finished two, uh, three weeks ago, changed uh, uh, my idea of this presentation. And I would like to talk about, of course, Kotów uh, too, but also about some other uh, outcrops, about some other uh, raw material from this area, about uh, probably extraction site, located near Bircha, and uh, I would like to talk about uh, Bircha field itself, uh, because uh, uh, new material suggests that uh, this group of different, quite different raw materials made in all like a Bircha field. In fact, this quite differentiated group of field and the old crops located, are located in different parts of uh, Western uh, Carpathians. So I will concentrate, like I uh, said, near around the uh, Bircha, is located here, Eastern part of Polish Carpathian, and, uh, uh, and the economic uh, place, Bircha, and the uh, all crops or, uh, or locations where, uh, where the Bircha print were found firstly and scope of this location uh, uh, from which raw material was used for characterization of this kind of, of print of Bircha print. So this is a map uh, published uh, almost 15 years, almost 15 years ago, uh, uh, dispersion of uh, artifacts made of Bircha Pit from different uh, archaeological uh, contexts, most uh, spectacular material comes from Magdalenian, uh, but uh, uh, artifacts made of this print uh, were recognized also, also in different Neolithic uh, uh, noisy context. So, uh, the, uh, the scope of uh, uh, southern part of Tydów, uh, Upland, uh, and uh, Magice, uh, two location, locations uh, described uh, by geologists and the sample of which are uh, presented in previous. Uh, uh, presentation, uh, but I would like to concentrate on uh, the different area on the uh, on the Bircha, <coughs> Kotów, but also Reszczawa, Urna, and also all outcrops located south uh, of Bircha. This also, also uh, are uh, known from geological publications, and in uh, these publications, uh, kind of grey Bircha print uh, was uh, uh, was uh, recorded, uh, but uh, they were not characteristic of, of this kind of print of this great thing. So I talk about uh, geological uh, publication. It's, uh, three years ago, I start uh, to verify this uh, information. I start from, uh, from Bircha because in the first characteristic of this print was also information that 
some pieces of, the, of, of this beautiful fragment of Nodos were found in the river beds close to the close to the Buta. So I start uh, from Buta, but not only. There are old crops near uh, Kuzmina uh, and uh, Malawa, now from geological uh, publication, also, uh, also others. Uh, old, crop, old crops, so in, uh, in these locations, this is uh, uh, a nice different kind of, uh, of, of raw material. There's uh, the black metalite homestone, there are different uh, kind of other, the other different kind of homestone, brown or almost uh, white, uh, striped homestones, also uh, signifies uh, Mars. In uh, Leszczana and Malawa, uh, there are also present uh, Raw material similar to Bircha, uh, similar to Bircha. So I would like uh, to, to say that my presentation is kind of uh, introduction to uh, tomorrow workshop because I, I, would not, uh, I will not show uh, raw material in in, uh, in this presentation. I think that the much better idea is to see this material face to face, so I prepared the samples and uh, tomorrow will be possible to, to, see this to see this material face to face. So, uh, Kotov. Um, Kotov is located uh, north, uh, northwest of, of Bircha, this is about 8-10 uh, kilometers in a straight line. Uh, I pay attention uh, on uh, Kodur because uh, most than 20 years ago, Michał Parczewski, uh, during uh, the uh, surface survey in this area, found uh, 17 or 18 uh, sites with uh, artifacts made of Bilczaki, uh, of, of Bilczaki, or, uh, or raw material similar to Bichapi. Uh, most of them there are single finds, but two sites are represented by collection uh, which consists of uh, 45, 15, uh, 15 artifacts. And this is just because they are uh, flakes and some of them are typical to the uh, flakes from the, pro the production of uh, rectangular axis. So I start from Kotów, from uh, this archaeological site, but uh, this site were uh, found, uh, I said about this, more than 20 years ago. So now this area is uh, covered by, by uh, young uh, forest or bare meadows, so it's absolutely impossible to recognize material on the surface. So I start from the Kotu because I uh, suppose that near uh, workshop it is possible. Um, so I suppose that workshop that, that, that is possible that workshops are located near the sources of this kind of raw material. Uh, and it was true uh, near the near the workshops in the stream bed. Uh, I recognized pieces of uh, raw material similar to 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 to, to and uh, and uh, in nearest workshop in in Leszczawa, uh, the workshop, the old crop, in Leszczawa, the old crop described in the uh, geological publication also, it was mentioned that some fleet uh, without a detailed description, uh, fleet uh, in gray in color and similar it looks uh, on the uh, very enigmatic description, looks like similar to Bircha print. So I visit this uh, this site uh, this site too, 
but uh, this will now absolutely destroyed. It was workshop, but now it's covered by vegetation, and it's also impossible to to, to, to recognize the, the profiles, the geological profiles, but some pieces of print was, of course, possible to, to find. And uh, uh, Rudavka, uh, uh, this is uh, on this uh, slide, this outcrop this, this uh, described by, uh, in the, uh, by geologists. And near two new outcrops uh, used uh, by people which live in this area for, um, the, uh, for, for, the, for the material for building. Uh, it is visible here are different kind, different layers of different raw material of different uh, <coughs> Uh, material are, are here, and also a layer of of uh, gray print, dark gray print, similar to similar to Bircha. And uh, next is uh, Krenpak, uh, north uh, uh, northeast of of, of, of Bircha. Uh, two years ago, I talked about this place because I suppose uh, that it is possible that, that on this area there are uh, extraction uh, there are extraction sites of different uh, low, local raw material, different local raw material because in this place there are hollow stones, there are beach and uh, city, uh, city size Mars. Uh, two. And the example of one piece of of but what is what is inter interesting interesting <coughs> uh, uh, the uh, in this 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 and in result of uh, heavy rain in these uh, springs, uh, part, some part of uh, leaves uh, was, uh, some part of uh, this area was clean uh, from, the, from the leaves. And it was possible to find on the surface concentration of uh, of uh, different kind of raw material, different kind of uh, hollow stone, also uh, pieces of uh, green. Each uh, this concentration concentrations are uh, inside and in the close uh, vicinity of uh, uh, regular local depressions, 10, 15. Uh, uh, metals in diameters, the pressures cut into the steep slope of the of uh, of the hills. Uh, this is thousands of pieces of of uh, of stones of of built up means. Uh, I found only few artifacts, few uh, flakes, and. These concentrations uh, uh, looks like uh, 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 looks like extraction sites at uh, Rybniki, uh, at uh, Polany Kolonie, and uh, I said, uh, but Polany Kolonie is a flat landscape. Rybniki is uh, is like a small hill. Polany is a flat, but concentrations, the size of concentrations and concerns. It's quite similar. Of course, Poland Colony is chocolate meat. Here is different kind of uh, of uh, horse on and and and, and meat. Uh, because of uh, this area now, this is uh, 
uh, this is not a uh, 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 nature preservation area, so it's impossible to, uh, to, to, to clean uh, the surface from, from the leaves or from, from the branch. Mm, so I uh, can uh, only document this material on, on the surface in situ like, 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 like here. Uh, so it suggests... So what is this geomorphic form? Uh, is it an artificial form or is it natural? Yeah. Uh, there are the hills, there are certain part of Przemysl uh, foothills, uh, but, uh, but uh, the foot uh, hills. But. It's not the back of a mine. This depression are artificial. Ah, this depression is cut the into the steep slopes of, okay. of, of, of hills. Oh, depressions are, are, are artificial. So, uh, uh, perhaps uh, we found in this place extraction site uh, where, uh, where a different kind of holstone, but maybe Bitsafrin uh, was extracted, was, was uh, obtained. Of course, this is uh, uh, questions for the future uh, research on this area. But, uh, uh, Raw material similar to, uh, to Bilchan Fit was found only in the uh, other part of, of, uh, of, uh, of the Carpathians, of the eastern part of Polish Carpathian. For example, from Vetina, uh, uh, Bieszczady uh, mountains, uh, from, uh, from old drops. Uh, near the small village Rabe. This uh, uh, very interesting uh, uh, geological unit, uh, so called uh, uh, Rabe or, or Bystre unit, very small but with Cretaceous uh, uh, sediments uh, on, the, on, the, on the surface and similar kind of wind. Uh, were found uh, near uh, Rybotyce and Hufniki. These locations are described by geologists also, and uh, in, uh, in uh, Hufniki and Rybotyce outcrops not only Bircha Pint, but first of all different kind of, uh, of whole stone and, uh, and Mars uh, were recognized. Uh, also, między Brodzie, near Sanok, uh, uh, last year I uh, visited this, uh, this auto and feel similar to Bilchapin, uh, 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 is, is uh, present here. It is in, 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 in interesting in relation to Chłomcza, because Chłomcza is located several kilometers from, from from Międzybrodzie. If Międzybrodzie, if uh, uh, the Bircza Krim is really present, so the connections, uh, the distance from Chłomcza to Międzybrodzie may suggest that uh, these people exploited material not from area, from this, this area, but from, from, from here. And next, the uh, old crop in the Między, in, in, uh, is located in the same side of, uh, the, the, uh, of the, the Sun River, like the like Pomcha. So there were no difficulties with, 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 with some communication. So uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, questions, only a few answers. Uh, but we can, uh, uh, we can say some conclusions. Uh, first, Bircha print is not uniform. Bircha print occurs in the form of nodules, lenses, but also layers. Uh, uh, horizontal and diatonal position, or diatonal position of, of wind and horizontal beds allow them easy access to raw material. Uh, uh, this position made it relatively easy to reach and, and extract raw material. Raw material uh, possible 
uh, was firing from steep slopes on the hills and river beds. So all this locality I visited uh, near Bircha are located on the steep slopes or the uh, slopes of uh, river, steep slopes of river valleys. Varieties uh, uh, of Birch have been uh, uh, the first one of the latter in color and uh, uh, physical properties. Some variants of Birch uh, have uh, appears at uh, many locations. But on the other hand, at the same location, uh, different variants can be also, also present and uh, uh, macroscopic features can be varied uh, even within a single sources. Uh, moreover, uh, macroscopically different parts can be present within one block of raw material. Fresh, and this, uh, I think uh, this very important observation, fresh raw material from the original beds or from secondary clay deposits can differ in macroscopic features from the artifacts. And identification of sources or provenience of raw material uh, utilizing the uh, manufacture of the particular artifacts can be a difficult task in most cases. And uh, uh, some plans uh, for the future, uh, research re review of published geological information and their verification in the field, systematic field prospection for raw material outcrops, geology of the sources, characterization of sources, primary autochthonal, secondary autochthonal, subautochthonal <coughs> or residual autochthonal, identification of extraction size, macro and, micro, uh, and microscopic uh, characteristic of raw material from different locations, and uh, research on chemical composition of raw material from different locations. Thank you very much.